Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin ang mga sequences na katulad ng Fibonacci sequence. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Previously, dinefine natin yung Fibonacci sequence na may ganitong mga terms. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. Wherein, napansin din natin that the next term is obtained by adding the two previous terms. Also, pinag-aralan din natin yung formula na nakuha out of this Fibonacci sequence wherein we have a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2. So, bukod sa Fibonacci sequence, meron din tayong tinatawag na Fibonacci-like sequences. So, ano ba to? Ito yung mga sequence na hindi naman talaga sila Fibonacci, pero yung pattern nila katulad ng Fibonacci sequence. Tandaan kasi natin, ang Fibonacci sequence, isa lang yon Yun nga yung pinakita ko kanina sa previous slide. etong Fibonacci-like sequences, ito ay composed ng iba't ibang terms, pero yung kanilang formula ay kapareho lang ng formula ng Fibonacci sequence. Thus, we can say that they behave just like a Fibonacci sequence. However, hindi necessarily na magsisimula sila sa first term na 1. Consider a Fibonacci sequence where a sub 1 is 3 and a sub 2 is 4. Tandaan, Fibonacci-like sequence ito, ibig sabihin para makuha natin yung next term, we have to add these two previous terms. So, let's predict the next three terms of the sequence. So, alam natin, na ang a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2. Let's start by getting a sub 3. a sub 3 is adding a sub 2 and a sub 1. Ang a sub 2 natin is 4. Ang a sub 1 natin is 3. Therefore, we have 7. Ang a sub 3 natin ay 7. Idugtong natin dito. So, we have 3, 4, 7. Next, we have a sub 4 naman. Ang a sub 4, makukuha yan kapag i-add natin yung a sub 3, tsaka a sub 2. Ang a sub 3 natin, yung nakuha natin kanina, which is 7. Ang a sub 2 naman natin, yung given na 4. 7 plus 4, we know that is 11. And finally, we have a sub 5. Nakukuha ito kung i-add natin yung a sub 4 at saka a sub 3. a sub 4 natin ay 11. a sub 3 natin ay 7. 11 plus 7, we know that is 18. So, ayan, successfully nating na-predict yung next three terms ng Fibonacci-like sequence na to. Tandaan, hindi siya nagsimula sa 1 at 1, pero yung pattern niya or yung kung paano kunin yung mga next term ay kapareho lang ng pattern ng Fibonacci sequence. So, yan yung buong sequence kung itutuloy pa natin para makuha yung mga susunod na terms after 18. So, let's identify if the following statements are true or false. First, if n is odd, then a sub n is a prime number. Hanapin natin yung mga n na odd. Ang n, it refers to the terms kung pang ilang term yung na natin. So, ang n na odd numbers ay 1. Tapos, we also have 3, 1, 3, 5, 7. So, ibig sabihin, hahanapin natin yung first, yung third, yung fifth, at yung seventh term. Ang first term, ibig sabihin yung a sub 1 ay 3. Tapos, ang a sub 3 ay 7. Ang a sub 5 naman, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have 18. A sub 7, we have 6, 7, we have 47. Now, tingnan natin. If n is odd, which is ito nga, yung apat na odd n terms, 
Then a sub n is a prime number. Ito bang mga to ay prime numbers? Tingnan natin yung bawat term. Is 3 a prime number? Yes. 7, wala rin naman tong ibang factor aside from 1 in itself. So this is a prime number. 47, ganun din. This is also a prime number. Walang ibang factor ang 47 kundi sarili niya at 1. Pero itong 18, we know that there are many factors of 18. Meron tayong 2 times 9, meron tayong 3 times 6, and we also have 1 times 18. So meaning, 18 is not a prime number. Meaning, this first statement, if n is odd, then a sub n is a prime number, therefore this statement is false. So ganyan tayo mag-prove ng truth statement for Fibonacci-like sequences. Kailangan nating ipakita yung solution kung paano natin ina-analyze yung bawat terms sa Fibonacci-like sequence. Tapos, titingnan natin per term kung tama nga ba, nasasatisfy nga ba niya yung statement. Kapag nakakita tayo ng isang term na hindi nagsatisfy sa statement na yon, automatic, that statement is false. Using the same sequence, tingnan naman natin kung true or false itong pangalawang statement. So dito, involve tayo ng n is greater than 4. Ibig sabihin, ang titingnan natin na terms ay yung after the fourth term. Ibig sabihin, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Ito ang titingnan natin. Hindi natin ito papakialaman. Simulan natin sa a sub 5. Dahil yan yung first term na natin. Dahil nga hindi na natin i-consider itong apat na to. Ang a sub 5 natin is 18. So, tingnan natin kung tama ba itong statement na to. We have 2 a sub 5 is greater than a sub 5 plus 1. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 2 a sub 5 greater than ba ito sa a sub 6? 5 plus 1 is 6, di ba? So, substitute natin yung mga values. We have 2. Ang a sub 5 natin is 18. Tapos ito, a sub 6, ibig sabihin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have 29. 2 times 18, we know this is 36. And obviously, 36 is greater than 29. So dito, true. Tingnan natin kung true sa mga susunod na terms. Dito naman, we have a sub 6 equal to 29. We have 2 a sub 6 greater than ba ito sa a sub 6 plus 1? 2 a sub 6 greater ba ito sa a? 6 plus 1, we have 7. Ang a sub 6 natin, substitute, we have 29. Ang a sub 7 is 47. 2 times 29, we know this is 58. And 58 is obviously greater than 47. So this is also true. Next, we have here a sub 7 equals 47. We have 2 a sub 7 greater than ba ito sa a sub 7 plus 1. The right side will look like a sub 8. A sub 7 is 47, and 76 naman yung A sub 8. 2 times 47 is 94, and 94 is greater than 76. So, true. So, dito kapag nagpo-prove tayo ng statement, minimum of 3 instances lang. Ibig sabihin, para tayo makapag-conclude, makapag-prove sana tayo ng minimum of 3 instances. Yan. So dito, so far, sa tatlo nating instances, wala tayong nakikitang false. It's your choice kung itutuloy mo pa. Pero sa akin, pwede na to. We can already conclude that the statement is true. Dahil wala tayong nakikitang contradiction para sa statement na to. Ibig sabihin, for n greater than 4, then this 2a sub n, is greater than a sub n plus 1 is always true. 
So that's it kung paano tayo mag-prove ng iba't ibang statement for Fibonacci-like sequences. Tandaan, kailangan mo lang intindihan yung statement. After maintindihan yung statement, hanapin mo siya dito sa sequence mo. And then, unti-unti mo siyang isolve. Kapag nakakita ka ng isang false, automatic magko-contradict na yon sa statement mo and that statement is already false. A minimum of three instances will do Pero kung gusto mo pang dagdagan, much better. So that's it. Again, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.